Habari na welcome to Getaway Planet. My name is Bran and today we are going to talk about lions. In case you're wondering what I'm talking about, we've had lions stray from the Nairobi National Park in the recent months. That's from March 2016, depending on when you're watching this. And it's been a big issue. The first time it was funny and all, but now it's become a big issue. And they have been roaming around people's homes and our streets. So today I've decided to give you some tips on what not to do when you see a lion. I'm not even lying right now. These are some serious tips. Anyone? Lying? Lion? Logical, ain't it? Nowadays, when anything goes down, the first instinct that people have is to take out their phone, get closer to what is going on, record or take selfies. Hashtag photo or it never happened. Hashtag never miss a moment. Tweet. You'll be dead even before you get that your data bundles is below 2 MB's text. Come on, it's 2016. Do you think clowns will fall for that? Maybe they will, and if they do, they'll be sympathetic. High five, anyone? Hello, darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again. Yeah. Growing up, you used to have the best fight starter ever. You'd pick a rock and you'd place it on the back side of your hand and then you'd tell the person you're fighting or your opponent to drop it. If they did drop it, then it was about to go down. So if a lion puts a rock on its paw and asks you to drop it or roars for you to drop it, now the best answer is to just walk away. But in case you do, let me tell you what's going to happen. I don't want the lion thinking I'm a pussy like him, pun intended. Well, because he's in the cat family. But if I was you, I'd drop it. And then after dropping the rock, I'd say, Yes, a man! What the rock is cooking! And then after dropping the mic, you must rock bottom the lion. If you don't want to fight, then you can challenge the lion into a dance-off. I got the moves like Jaguar. As my Asian friends who do competitive dance say, you my friend just got served for breakfast to a pride of lions. There is no way you can outrun a lion. Whether you're running uphill, downhill, sideways, nope. Well, some will say it's because lions make long strides, <laughs> but you both know lions move faster than you. I'll see myself out. I'll back up slowly. Maybe that's what you should do when you see a lion. A staring contest with a lion sounds like the manliest thing ever, right? Well, even though you won't be alive to tell the story, it's still manly as fuck. You blinked. Now let me go. I'm late for work. Please. You can't buy yourself out of being a lion's one cost meal unless you have a friend and you can push them so that you can buy yourself time. Oh. No, don't do that. No, no. The lion is not a politician nor a civil servant. They are not familiar with bribery, so don't teach them your corruption ways. We all have those friends who always have a story and they always tell it in awkward situations before you decide to eat me, Batman or Superman. I'm thinking Batman because deep down I think Batman is black. Okay, hear me out. He wears black, his spirit animal is a bat, which is commonly found in Africa. I mean, you're the king of the jungle, you know this by now, right? Okay, one more, one more. Mufasa versus Car. Okay, what are you doing? Simba? Simba? Oh! Unless you're tossing a buffalo or a zebra to the lion, don't start throwing stuff to the lion. If you do, make sure you don't miss, because there will be a good 15 seconds of awkwardness between you and the lion, and then he's going to eat you. So that's it for my list. I hope you enjoyed it. I guess most of you are wondering, Brian told us what not to do. You didn't tell us what to do. So what do you do when you come across a lion? 
That's a very good question. And listen carefully because I'm not going to say this again. Okay, so here's what you do. Become a Maasai. Simple. Pretend to be a Maasai. Just watch here. This is the ultimate face-off. Who's gonna flinch? Man or beast? The lions back off. Lions fear Maasai's. It's science. They push out when they spot a Maasai. Push, 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 push. And now you're wondering how to be a Maasai. Well, you can watch this video here, which I did a few months ago. I was in Maasai village and I got to stay with the Maasai's. So I'm a Maasai right now, so no lion can attack me. You can also watch the Taita Taveta County video that I did where I talked about the man eaters of Savo. The lions that used to eat people in Savo West. So that's my time. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And also click that subscribe button if you are new to this channel. And yeah, so stay safe. Be kind. Kwahiri. Bye.